In Super Smash Bros. Melee, every character has their own unique Break the Target stage. This stage complements their moveset. Normally, each character would only have access to their own Break the Target stage. But, by using mods, we're able to have access to all 25 Break the Target stages with every single character. In this episode, we're trying out every stage as months to see which ones are possible and which ones aren't. Alright, now we got Marth, our first Fire Emblem character. Marth is a pretty cool character. That side B that I used is actually going to be really useful during this challenge. It definitely has one of the more unique movesets to most of the characters being a swordsman. I know Link's a swordsman, but he relies on a lot of projectiles, but Marth just pretty much purely relies on his sword. In uh, Smash 4 and Smash Ultimate, I actually played as Lucina a lot, who's the Echo character to Marth in uh, that game. Which is cool that uh, Marth got kind of another clone character in a sense. Because at first, Roy was a clone character, and then it got switched to Lucina being a clone character. But no, Marth seems like a pretty basic character. No projectiles, a decent up B. But uh, I think he's gonna really surprise a lot of people for how well he's gonna do. It's kind of crazy to think that Marth's our last regular character when it comes to this challenge, and all we'll have is the clone characters after this. But looking back, I have a much better routine for doing this series now. At the start, uh, Sony Vegas would constantly crash on me. I find it so hard to render these videos, and there were so much problems when the series first came out, but now I have pretty much everything figured out, and I'm able to render the videos properly. Ready, go. I remember back when I did Mario's episode, that one took me so long to do, because that was almost like making a template for the rest of the episode. Doing that initial intro edit with the music and uh, just even getting the initial uh, chart that I use on the side there and figuring out how to work it and everything. I'm going to confirm this right now because people always ask in the comments. I'm definitely going to do the unplayable characters when I'm done this series. And honestly, I'll probably put up the unplayable character episodes right when I'm done this episode. So right when Roy's done, probably the next day, I'll do the unplayable characters. Because right now, I really want to get into doing daily uploads. Daily uploads just keeps you so motivated. Because a lot of the times, like it's like, oh, do I really want to edit a video today? And then you start, uh, I don't know, doing other things that aren't productive, like playing different video games or maybe just going on Reddit for too long. But when you have daily uploads to do, it just keeps or keeps me a lot more focused. Ready, go. Like, I guess it just puts the pressure on me. Oh, if I play that stupid Flash game, Balloon's Tower Defense, for two hours today, like, I won't be able to get done this daily upload. So it just keeps me a lot more focused on making videos if I do daily uploads, I guess. How nice you can get both those. Ready, go. All right, Marth can easily get up there. Can he get up here with his up B? Oh yeah, he has one of those people, so yeah, he has a really good recovery, so. Alright, now for Nessus here, and this one's going to be a little bit tricky since we don't have any projectiles. This one, we should easily be able to get it like that, yeah. Okay, nice. All 
I get that work, but I didn't really save any time. Right now, Ice Climb is everyone's favorite stage. There's a mod out right now called Super Melee 64, and it's kind of the opposite of Smash Remix in a sense, because Smash Remix takes Smash 64 and adds like characters from Melee and other games, but Smash Melee 64 takes Melee and just makes it look just like Smash 64, like changes the HUD and everything, and it changes the way the characters play so they feel more like they're from Smash 64, and it uses like the models and textures from Smash 64. And it looks really cool. Ready, go. Well, yeah, it adds uh, new characters and new stages and everything. Like, the mod looks super cool. I definitely plan on checking it out one day. But from doing this series, I've kind of fell behind on the mods that are coming out. Because usually, right when a mod comes out, I'll play it within the first week and be able to get a video up. But since I've been doing this series, I've really been uh, kind of falling behind on the new releases here. Like, I took that small break there which helped, so I was able to play through, like, the new Overcart game and the uh, Legend of Zelda Super Mario 64 crossover. Alright, so now Zelda stage here, and I actually forgot this stage, so I just realized during editing, so this part might seem a little bit uh, weird, because right after this I'm going to start talking about uh, the mods that I played again. <laughs> The mods I really want to play right now are Banjo-Kazooie the Jiggies of Time. I started that mod, but it's such a huge game, it's probably going to take me around 10 hours to complete, and I'm about two and a half hours in, and I just ha haven't really had the time to play through it and then edit the video, so that's one video I really want to make. And the other one is The Missing Link made by Kaze. The Missing Link is a mod for Ocarina of Time, and it pretty much is the story of what happened between Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, so... I mean, it just seems incredibly cool, so I really want to play that mod too. So I have so much, uh, video ideas right now. I remember before I really had to brainstorm to come up with ideas sometimes, but right now I just have so many ideas for videos right now, which is nice. I'm really hoping Marth can uh, get this target through the wall, it'll make our lives a lot easier if he can. Okay, yes, he can. Alright, so Marth might actually be able to do this one. Okay, so just that last one. Finally, you guys have no idea how long that took me. So that one was just ridiculously difficult to do. You can actually do that one without flipping through the floor also, so there's a couple ways to do that one. But that way was definitely the easier way, but saying that, that still took me like over an hour to do. That's probably the most frustrating thing about doing this series, is when you have a challenge and you're trying it for like over an hour and it just gets so frustrating. Ready? Go! 
The worst stage of this entire series so far has been Bowser on Zelda. That took me over two hours to do, and just getting that last target was just so incredibly difficult. I was honestly like going crazy trying to get it. But I knew it was possible because I've seen somebody else do it, so like I knew I had to keep trying. Okay, just three more left. Marth is actually pretty good for this one. Oh, this one might be a little bit of a pain. Let's just hope we can uh, go like that. Oh yeah, that's, that one's actually not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. Falcos and Falcos almost seems like it was made for Marth. He should easily be able to make it up here. Oh wait, maybe not. Can maybe if I go? Nope, just barely. Like, you might actually be able to do that, but I'll just do it the easy way, since I can. Yeah, there we go. Alright, now we got Young Lynx, and... There's no way we're gonna be able to get out of here, so... Sadly, Young Link has nine left once again. Ready, go. Pichu's here. Come on. Okay, sweet. That actually worked out really well. It's actually pretty cool. for Roy's, who's the clone character, so this one should be easy. Alright, well that actually worked out. Alright, so that's Marth, and Marth was, uh... Honestly, the most frustrating character I've done in a while. The rest of the characters that I've done, I went really smooth sailing right now. I'm sitting at two hour record time, so that's how long I was stuck on Jigglypuff stage there for, so. Definitely one of the more difficult episodes to do, but overall, Marth is a great character. Just too bad that he couldn't get out of Young Link's pit. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you guys could leave a like or subscribe, I really appreciate it, and I hope you guys all have a great day.